good at those. And today we're playing the cool pool. And I like the cool pool. Now I haven't done anything with the freestyle file, so I'll just keep that there. Welcome to our community of freestylers. I'm Sophia, and I'll be taking you on. Here, we're all about having fun. If you want in, it's easy. Get that plane, get ready to do every trick on that list in the order they're shown, and grab a barf bag while you're at it. Use the bag and you lose. Beat the score I've set and you're in. I'll show you what I can really do later, but for now, it's your turn. Three, two, one. Now try a roll. To roll, level out your flight, then pick left or right. Move the stick in the direction you choose until you've done a full roll. to air drift. Just hold your right or left rudder pedal down for long enough and you'll get the hang of it. Knife flight can be tricky. Orient your plane with one wing pointing straight down and you've got it. Try a loop. Just pull the stick back until you've gone a full 360 degrees. Now, low altitude. Take a wild guess what that one means. Just be careful not to brush more than the treetops, or you'll get a crash course in landing the wrong way. That was awesome, great flying. Okay, you need to meet my partner in crime, Emmett, at the barn, and then we can really get you rolling. Emmett, and you must be the new talent Sophia was talking about. Hmm. We'll see if she's as good a judge of people as she is a pilot, and a driver, and a... Never mind. You get the picture. Now, as to what this place is about, that's tricky to describe. You see these people? They work hard and they play hard, and they somehow make ends meet. Until you can wrap your head around that, you don't belong here. But heck, Sophia vouched for you, so you've got to be good folks. She and I have got something for you down at the store, by the way. That's down here. A place where you can pick up a few other rides when you earn the scratch. But, uh, getting one for free ought to put a smile on your face. Just remember to keep smiling when she whoops you good up there. In the meantime, I suggest you figure out what you want to do. There's no rules around here except do your best and have fun. I expect you to follow them.
guess what? There's an easy way for us to add followers. All you've got to do is cool stuff like flying under bridges, drifting, or taking big jumps. The more stuff you chain, the more followers we get. Hey, I just rigged things so you can fast swap between two vehicles of any type. Who's got your back? Me. It's me, I, I do. You picked up new followers for that action move you just did. Everyone you pull from now on gets you more followers. So knock yourself out. Listen up, people. I'm looking for a driver. If you can handle yourself on the water, and in the air, and behind the wheel, obviously, though we'll come to that later, then maybe you've got what my team needs. Eat the posted time for the trial, and there'll be a spot for you. Fail, and well, I'm sure someone else will grab the opportunity. Alexis Kendrick Racing deals strictly with winners. And I'm Alexis, so I would know. Congratulations, you got the gig. Let's go someplace we can talk about what happens next.
That wasn't half bad. I'm looking forward to having you on the team. There's still some things you need to work on, but that's okay. I'll teach you what you need to know. It'll be hard work, but you'll see the results on the track, or the waves, or in the air. So, this is the pit. It's where the pro racing community preps. Now you can hang out here too. You belong. That's Clarence Bishop, the third. He's the reigning champ around here. Racing royalty, really. His father and grandfather were both champions, too. Which helps explain his attitude. If you start winning, he won't be happy with you. Clarence is old school. Doesn't think anything needs to change. A lot of drivers see things differently. Me, I think there needs to be some balance. You'll decide for yourself, I guess. Just in case you're wondering, there's a powerboat with your name on it waiting for you in the shop. Don't thank me. You've earned it. And you're gonna need it. The rest of these, you can buy later. <laughs> Not that one, little grasshopper. Not yet. You need to find the winner's circle a few times first. In case you hadn't noticed, now we can edit videos through the live app. Just open the map, search through it, and you'll find the tools you need. I'll bet posting those babies gets us tons of new followers. Remember how I rigged it so you could fast swap between two vehicles? Now you could do it between three. No need to thank me.
kind of race isn't just a race. It's a couple of checkpoints and you finding the best route between them. Now, good luck on not getting lost. Only the top races get to run here, which I guess says something about you. Don't get too cocky, though. It's a long way from getting invited to sitting in the winner's circle. Why not treat yourself to a delicious mouth-watering snack? Everyone's got a moment where they realize why they're racing. Well, for me, it was the day my bike went one way and I went the other, and I broke two ribs. I picked my bike up, climbed back on, and kept running. Won that race, too. Wouldn't let myself lose no matter what. The details, just the things you tell stories about later. 
Listen to those engines roar.
remember, a good driver never lets the pressure get to them. That's why we train. So all the gauges and torques and g-forces become second nature. And then you can focus on the race. Now, I'll be watching you out there today to see how you do. So no pressure. Stay within yourself. Looks like you lost the focus there a little. Don't worry, we'll work on it.
I know I'm not usually the one saying this sort of thing, but are you sure about this race? And I'm not the one who usually says you're worrying too much, but here we are. It's all set. Between this and the race in Vegas, we're showing off in new venues. So we're hoping the big jump means big numbers? That's the idea. It's a big chance we're taking trying a location like this, but we've got to do it. One thing will never change, though. Old-fashioned driving will always win. Three, two, one. No risk, no reward. I guess that's one way of looking at it. You've got to evolve to stay relevant. If that means trying new venues, from downtown to 10 miles east of the middle of nowhere, then maybe that's what we got to do. But I know it's a gamble. It won't do us any good to win new fans if we lose the old ones. Finding a balance, that's the tricky part.
of God in the land.